it's me Kim from Frequency Blog. Welcome back to my channel. I will do a favorites video because it's been a long time since I did one and I love watching favorite videos and every single time I watch them I'm like I need to make one myself. So yeah, starting off with a hand cream. This hand cream is called Handy Gurugu by Lush. Um, I will put all the products in the description bar. Um, this is a hand cream that, how do I would describe the smell? For me, it really smells like lavender a bit. It's very um, heavy. So I only apply this when my hands are really, really dry, but they are very dry at the moment since it's cold and snowy. Um, and yeah, um, what else is inside of this? Rose water, chi butter, um, just a lot of good stuff for your hands. And um, yeah, I like this product. Then fragrance wise, um, this is not a surprise. And I, I'm not even sure if I should mention this product in my favorite videos because you guys already know what it is, but it's Chanel number no. five. Um, recently got the red edition for Christmas and uh, since we're talking about fragrances let's talk about this fragrance oil this is by another stories and um, I'm always having this in my handbag so the packaging is a little bit trashed but it's Nomad's poem and this is a dupe of Byredo Velvet Haze smells exactly the same and another fragrance this is the fragrance of the month I would say it's Philosophos by Dipti um, I have the rollerball the oil one and we bought it in Paris and I got it as a gift from my husband and it came in this really nice um, yeah, suede kind of pouch so you can put it in your handbag and the packaging won't uh, get ruined and I just love this but I will make a separate review about Philosikos um, then for skincare I really like this uh, Bobbi Brown leathering tube soap uh, with coconut extract and apricot oil I got this as a tip from a colleague of mine that works for Bobbi Brown and she said that this is a very deep cleansing product I really like the scent it definitely cleanses, cleanses your skin very, very well. Um, so I'm a big fan of this product. And I got it on sale, um, but I would pay full price for it because this will last you maybe a year because you only need a very, very uh, tiny amount. This oil, guys, seriously, it's the best face oil I've tried in my life. And I'm not just... It's this oil by uh, Magic Organic Apothecary um, and it's the Aphrodite Facial Oil and I, I don't know, I have this since October I think and I use it at night um, only just a little drop it's uh, Rosehip, Damask Rose, Yarrow and Geranium Oil it's freaking amazing and yeah I just I will buy this again and I I don't know I think it was Pinterest I saw a picture of the packaging and I really liked it and then I tried searching it up and I found out the brand and a Dutch web shop that um, sells this it's around 32 euros I think but that's a good price for a very beautiful face oil I have this product by Niels Yard Remedies looks like this and it's called wild rose beauty balm and this is also very good if you have very dry skin the only thing i don't like is the scent honestly um it really smells like uh, i don't know it smells a little bit like mud sometimes you just gotta forget about the scent because the benefits of this product are really good um and this is a small size, but you also have this in larger. Yeah, I think I will count this as skincare, a jade roller. This is just, I don't know, I've been obsessed with jade rolling my face. If you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> I post a lot of 
insta stories when i'm rolling my face i don't know i think it's funny um but yeah i just i'm obsessed with this a little bit of hair products this is a shampoo i've been using for the past four months um and it's by another stories and it's the universal shampoo without sulfates um and it smells like gucci bloom and i don't like gucci bloom as uh, a fragrance but i do like it as just i don't know it would be good as a scented candle or in shampoos stuff like that and i really like this it was let me check 12 euros so just a normal price and last but not least um makeup wise been trying out this new concealer by Charlotte Tilbury the magic away liquid concealer and I have the number four um, next time I'll buy it one shade lighter but this will also works fine but um, yeah I just I just think Charlotte Tilbury is the best makeup brand ever um, because I just really like the looks you can create with their products looks like this and yeah it's just amazing there are a lot of reviews about this on youtube and i'm not a makeup reviewer so just search for magic away concealer books i've been reading this one about um, coco chanel this is not a biography but just a fictional book about creating the scent number five and this is a Dutch book uh, by one of my favorite writers, Pauline Cornelissen. And this is a book that kind of makes fun of the Dutch language. For Netflix, I would say check out You. I really like the series. First, I was a little bit like, mm, not sure, but I really like it. And I've been also watching a lot of doc documentaries by Louis, Ther Louis Theroux. Um, and I'm just, I just really like stories about people in jail, murders, uh, you guys know what I mean, just heavy stuff. And music wise, I've been listening a lot to Matre Jones, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, I will put it in the screen, or Maitre Jeans, uh, Saint Noir. Um, I just I really like the album and I've been also listening a lot to Young the Giant um, really like the band and I'm on Spotify uh, editors I've been really into the editors again um, I've been listening to Alt J again and yeah I'm in the indie music oh I forget the best album <laughs> always never that's the best album of the month yeah so stupid of me um especially well especially the song canadian dubai um and uh, no good. so yeah that was it those are my favorites of the month um let me know in the comments if you want me to do more of these videos i really enjoy them myself so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon Ciao.